How to get to 5D, Part 7. Stop violating other people's boundaries. Yes, this is another way to get to 5D. It's called, showing integrity by honoring others' free will. I get messaged saying, I know you asked us not to message you but. When you use but in your sentence you are violating my boundaries. For some reason, you believe yourself to be the exception to my rule. You're not. You only think you are. I will ignore you because in ignoring you, I will maintain my boundary. When you violate my free will, you are doing as the DS has taught you to do, to disregard other people's rights. Micro of the macro. The way they disguise themselves among us is by having taught us to be like they are. That way they can walk among us and we will find their unacceptable behavior perfectly acceptable, because we do it too. When you don't honor my free will, then others will not honor yours. Karma's kind of funny that way. People who violate others' boundaries also have boundaries that have been violated, and they have not repaired those boundaries yet. They do not understand their rights and so they treat others with the same lack of understanding. For this, they can be forgiven. But just because you forgive someone, doesn't mean you go along with their violation of your rights. You don't. It would be as if everyone forgives the DS for what they've done and then allowed them to continue. No, of course you won't. It has to be stopped. I'll tell you one thing from experience, if you allow others to violate your boundaries and disregard your rights, you will become very very angry. It lowers your vibrational state. What you need to do is to keep your boundaries firm and forgive others their trespasses as the expression goes. The first person you need to honor is yourself and in doing that, you honor all others in the same way, because life is a mirror. People think it's okay because everyone else does it. For some funny reason, they believe that because others do it, it's okay for them to do it as well. No, it's not okay. Doing as other people do keeps us all in a low vibratory state. Right now, going to 5D, being on an ascension path is about being different. Why? Because you are not going to get to 5D either by doing what you've been taught is okay, or by doing what everyone else does. It's not for no reason people are in the lower fourth or third dimensions, it's because they mistreat themselves and other people. When you keep on doing the things you are told are not welcome, how do you expect to be welcomed by other people? How do you expect others to treat your total disregard of their rights? Kindly? I tend to just ignore boundary violators and then I block them. It's the same with the DS. They also don't respect my rights. I'm expecting that once this sinks in and everyone starts to understand what's going on with the current event situation that they will become more insistent that their rights be respected. Welcome to my world. I'm there already. People who are boundary violators live on the victim triangle. I don't triangulate anymore. I have no desire to try to seek out some unsavory position in my relationship to others, I prefer having one-on-one -on -one conversations with people who are respectful and loving. And yes, I do have those relationships, even on earth. For you skeptics, it is possible. Boundaries are about being able to listen when someone says, no, to you. Listen for hesitancy in others' response to you, and ask details about limits they may not be expressing. Try to understand where others are coming from and abide by their limits if it works for you. If they don't work for you, this may not be the relationship for you. For some reason, an old situation comes up that I encountered while working in London. I was working as a typist along with a full-timer in this one company. This woman's idea of a pleasant conversation was talking endlessly about her love of singer Prince. She went on endlessly about him, expecting me to listen to her delusional ideations of love with a man she would never meet. When I started on about one guy in the company we were working for whom I found attractive, she yelled at me and told me to shut up about it. This is another type of boundary violator, she was excessively controlling as well, only wanting me to subordinate myself to her endless fantasizing about this man she would never even meet, by the way, that's why people fall for rock stars and TV idols, because they're safe for them. They don't really want to have a real relationship with someone, only the idea of it, while not being available for any exchange with me. This was an extremely unfortunate person, to be honest. I believe there are some boundary violators who will gladly violate your boundaries but have walls around themselves so you can't violate theirs. Maybe that's why this memory came up now. I recall that afterwards, you could cut the silence in the room with a knife. Very uncomfortable but I believe it was all for the best because clearly she needed professional help. There are some people who come across as unfortunate, that they are always down on themselves, putting themselves down, talking themselves down, and looking up at everyone else. 
even though these people seem to scream, violate my boundaries. I'm wide open to it, don't do it. Treat them with respect. Why? Because it's not the way that people behave that you're responding to, you're responding to your own inner mental and emotional values. It's not about reacting to everything around you, it's about responding as you've trained yourself to do, in a healthy way. This healthy way eliminates stress from your life as you deal with others, this healthy way keeps your vibration high as you deal with others, and this healthy way helps you get through the day without wanting to die at the end of it. Stress is a killer, I believe the number one killer of all of humanity, and eliminating it by responding to inner dictates rather than to what others seem to want you to do is the hallmark of a healthy, authentic person. If you go into a bar and a woman seems to say to you, I want you to take me home, I'm so easy, do you do it or do you think, I have more integrity than that. I'm looking for someone to love, not someone to use. It's your choice and every choice you make elevates you in your quest for 5D or keeps your vibe down. It's up to you. That's why you develop your own inner system of integrity. Treat people with respect always. You won't always get the same back, it depends on where others are on their own path, but at least you know you haven't created bad karma for yourself. You can carry on with a clear conscience. Are you going to do it perfectly? No, you won't. But keep trying, see where you failed and strive to improve. Avoid making excuses for yourself but also avoid trashing yourself out for a mistake. Learning is full of mistakes. How many of you got 100% on all your tests throughout school? No, neither did I but there's no shame in that.